They've had 13 number one singles. They've sold over 35 million albums. They're the most prolific and successful boy band of all time. Please welcome Kian, Shane, Mark and Nicky. We don't need an introduction. It's West Life! Now, you released your eighth album a month ago, mm -hmm. okay? Let's go back to the first album. Were you anticipating the success and everything that you've achieved in Westlife as a group? Um, I, I don't Be think honest. so. Be no, honest. Say no, yes. Honestly, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> I know, I think, you know, we thought we'd have maybe three, four years. Honestly, we didn't think we'd have half the success we've had. But mm. we've had it, so thank you very much. <laughs> your new album is all about love songs. Your yeah. love album. Yeah. No, boys. Have you written this album from experience? Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't write any of it. <laughs> it's a covers album. Uh, no, I mean, the idea behind that album was we just kind of felt, you know, we've been doing love songs all our career, so we just kind of picked a lot of songs that we felt were fantastic love songs, and we thought it was a great way to make a new album. Give us some examples. We actually did a few girl songs. Bonnie Tyler, uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Right. Um, we did, um, we did uh, You Light of My Life with the old Debbie Boone song. And there's, there's Easy, uh, the Commodores. There's, there's a kind of a nice arrangement. It actually plays quite well. And you know, it's a perfect, perfect present for Christmas. Uh. <laughs> well, let's get back to tonight. Who are you performing with and why? I'm performing with uh, Roy Orbison, and we're doing the song Pretty Woman. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, I think Elvis once said he had one of the best voices in the world, and I definitely right. agree with that, you know. I think a lot of our parents introduced us to Ron Robertson or whatever. Um, it's a good song. We've done it on tour as well, actually, two years ago. Uh, can you remember? Well, I'm going to be... This has shocked me to the core, boys, because I've just found out that you're going to be performing without stools. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> well, we actually, actually got a routine as well. Oh, routine! Yes! Are you going to do that? <laughs> Ten minutes to learn it, so you have to, you know, give us. We a don't break. want any excuses. No, okay, okay. I'm just going to say you're not the number one boy band of all time. You don't want any excuses. <laughs> now, before you go and perform, uh, let's remind ourselves of the legend that was Roy Orbison. Roy Orbison emerged in the 1950s. He was a true pioneer of rock and roll. Recognised as the creator of the rock ballad, he topped the bill on tour with the Beatles in 1963 and even boasted Elvis as a support act. His music, like his image, was unique. Whether it was an incredible ballad that he wrote at home, a pretty woman with a guitar riff. He just knew how to design something really well. You know, it showed in the way he wore his clothes and his glasses and the way he was the architect of those great arrangements. Roy Orbison would have been 70 this year. Over four decades after his first hit, and almost 20 years since his death, his music lives on. Thanks to Westlife for coming forward and picking Roy as a favorite choice of theirs, or a favorite singer. Because I think that helps somebody that's as timeless as Roy stay timeless. to the stage our first duet impossible singing oh pretty woman it's westlife and roy orbison <laughs> Pretty woman, I couldn't help but 
course, Mr. Roy Orbison. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've got loads more duet in